Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Crusader Kings 2, A Game of Thrones. This is a very special series that we're starting on the channel. And what makes this series so special is we are using a custom bookmark that it doesn't come with the uh, normal Game of Thrones mod. I had to go out and download this one separately. And somebody left a comment to one of my videos saying, Hey, you should try XYZ character and XYZ uh, uh, bookmark. And I thought, all right, you know, might as well give it a shot. Turns out I was able to get the bookmark and I was able to find the character. So this time we're playing as Anar the Exile. So for those of you who don't know who Anar the Exile is, let me just briefly explain because I just recently learned who this guy is. Anar the Exile is essentially the lord who decided to move House Targaryen from the the, the 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 Doom of Valyria, not the Doom of Valyria, just Valyria in general right now, but to move from Valyria all the way up here to Dragonstone. About 12 years later, uh, the Doom occurred, and uh, the dragons and cities and the Valyrians were all melted, melted alive. And Aenar fled because supposedly his child had visions of the destruction, and he heeded that and uh, took flight. The other... Well, other Valyrian families scoffed at at uh, at such a decision, but uh, well, they 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 soon found out why uh, why in the end Anar was right. But this is a very very different uh, age in the world of of uh, the Game of Thrones of, of of Westeros and Essos. This is the century of blood. The Valyrian freehold has collapsed. A doom has befallen the peninsula that means. Valeria is now gone and the Freehold destroyed. It is said that the fire and smoke was so hot that even the dragons have been consumed. The destruction of Valeria has strongly reduced the number of dragon lords left in the known world. House Targaryen had already relocated to Dragonstone. Some other dragon lords, those who had not been in Valeria when the doom occurred, have survived as well. The destruction of Valeria has left a power vacuum in Essos. Aryan, cool name by the way, Aryan, if I'm even saying it right, a dragon lord who had been visiting Kohor has proclaimed himself the first emperor of Valyria and raised forces from the Co Cohoric. Valantis, the mightiest of the nine free cities, has laid claim to Valyria's empire. Meanwhile, there are rumors of Dothraki riding out of the east because you know why the hell would why the hell wouldn't they? You know the fucking dragon empire is gone. Why not ride out now? There will surely be struggle and chaos. Indeed, there will be. So here are our little islands. Located in the Dragonstone Sea and Blackwater Bay off the coast of Westeros. Now, I'm not really familiar with, uh, with, uh, you see, look at this crazy shit. This is, I was not expecting this. I was not expecting this. So, we've got the usual empires here. We've got the North, we've got the Vale, we've got the Rock, the Reach, and, uh, the Dornlands. But we can see here the Stormlands have actually conquered the Riverlands. Damn. This all precedes the obviously Aegon's conquest. So in in the time between now and Aegon's conquest, I think the Ironborn come in and take over everything from the Stormlands. I think that's how it works. That's what they do. Now, as for what we're gonna do, I haven't really thought about it all that much. Um, I haven't really thought about it. Um, we could, I guess, establish the Iron Throne. We could if we felt like it. Um, we could establish the Kingdom of the Crownlands and take over everything. We could go back and try to take New Valyria away from Volantis, which is now pretending to be the Empire of the New Valyria, even though I don't think they have any Dragon Riders. Nope, they don't. They do worship They do worship uh, uh, the Valyrian religion, though. Is that uh, just something they all do? No, no, no. No, 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 it's not. The Kohoric are led by Magister Dario. Hmm... We could retake the remnants of Valyria if we felt inclined to, but I'm not sure if we will. I'm not sure if we will. So we received a beautiful new Dark Sister, received a beautiful new Blackfire. Sweet. I want to take a look at some of the stuff we're dealing with right now. So it is Lord Anar the Exile, which is us, and Blackfire. And we, we have um, we've um, Valerian T Targaryen. Oh. So, we came here with a single dragon, Balerion. This is Balerion the Black Dread, only it's a baby. Right. So, about 300 years later <laughs> is when Aegon's going to come around. That's a long time. We need to make sure this dragon doesn't fucking die. So, what we need to do is let's get our council set up first. All right, you'll do 
that. Um, we'll have you train troops in Dragonstone, you know, steward stuff, and luckily everybody seems to like us. Oh, our my granddaughter Elena has a dragon egg. Perfect. Uh, how about the people? The people here are Valyrian. Good. Great. So the Valyrians are on both of these islands. Sweet. Who rules this island? Valarion. Excellent. So apparently my granddaughter, da Dany's the dreamer. Ah, yeah, she was the one with the dragon dreams. Aegon Targaryen, who is 19, who is wed to Elena Targaryen, who has Valerion's dragon egg. Excellent. And they've given birth to Magon, Ares, and Mahagon. Mahagon. Hmm. So for this one, I'm not sure if I'll be giving names to subscribers. Let me know if you guys actually want that. I might just be letting them keep their Valyrian names because they sound so flippin' cool. But, uh, you know, if you guys want to still be involved, let me know. Um, so, we're ruling as an old guy. Game on the Glorious. Why is he glorious? I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. This dynasty is quite large. Well, it says there's only nine members. Hmm. All right, we're going to get the timer going because I don't think there's much we have to worry about. The Dothraki, the many calls of the Great Grass Sea, have been rallied under the same banner. The, lead, the leader that managed to unite them all is Mango. Oh, yes, Great Call Mango. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just, he he destroys a lot of stuff in Essos. The people of the Grasslands now call their leader Great Call and have set their minds not only on ruling the Do Dothraki Sea, but to spread throughout the world under the leadership of the stallion who will mount to the world. Is there anyone who can stop the thundering armies of thousands of hooves? Hmm. All right, and we are the blood of old Valeria. Yes, we are. How much do we get in the way of money? Not a whole lot. Do we have any other vassals? Do they belong to us? No, they don't. Slave raid, dragon conquest. So apparently we can dra- Oh, you know what? I'm stupid. We actually have dragons. I forgot. I'm a dragon rider, and I ride Azantes. All right, so- Oh, he's got 100 years old. Very nice. Then there's Daenerion and Heartfire. Heartfire is ridden by who? Sun, Ebrion, Xantis, Daenerion is ridden by... Oh, so their whole family generally rides... Uh, no. <laughs> no. Anar and his children ride dragons. And somehow he has given birth to a dragon. I'm not sure how the hell that works. Ooh. You ride a dragon and your marshal is that fucking low? Hmm. Let's see. Have lots of children. Well, the odds of that happening are not very high. Um, fall in love, become exalted among men. Adopt a lifestyle. That'll probably be the best thing to do. We have a. I mean, in all honesty, depends on how many dragons we have. Face the dragon. Why would I face a dragon? I already have a dragon. Look into the dragon dream. Send for a maester. Do we need a maester? Uh, looks like we do. Um, let's get the timer going and let's have. Let's get a maester. Send for a maester now. What is this? Unlanded Sons, Game on the Glorious. Can I give him land? Apparently I cannot. Um, award honorary title. Oh, yes. My designated regent will be my son and heir, Game on. Maybe it should be Aegon. That's all right. They've got quite a family going already. I'm surprised how many uh, Valyrians they left uh, Valyria with. They didn't just leave with, like, the family. They brought a they brought a bunch of people. All right, let's auto-assign the commanders, the council. We need a court physician. All right. My sweet Rayla is terrifying when she wants something. There is nothing she wouldn't do to make me bend to her will. Now she wants me to make one of her friends Justiciar, but Justiciar Bathon is a very competent man. I will let her have her way just this once. All right. Revoked job. Lady Rayla is thrilled. Game on the Glorious becomes the new Justiciar. Uh, our friend is not... Okay. I don't actually mind if Game on is on the council. That's, that's, that's great, I guess. Fabricate claims. We can Dragon Conquest shit, so we don't really need claims. Storm King Duran, about Durandin, has 42,000 men and a very, very powerful realm. Hmm, intriguing. And there's King Artis. He's got 21,000 men. Who rules the rock? It is King Tygut. And the Reach is ruled by King Garth. Dorne is ruled by Prince Peros. A lot of no lords I've never heard of. 
and Iron King Corwin the Cunning. Ooh. Is it Iron King Corwin that actually leads the invasion of the, the Riverlands and beats the Stormlands? I'm not sure. King Brandon the Bad. The Bad. So what we could do is we could unify all this if we felt inclined to. Take control of the Clawmen here. What kind of High Lordship of Crackclaw point? The Kingdom of the Claw, which apparently belongs up here. I don't think we're going to have the Kingdom of the Claw. I, I don't think that's what we're going to do. High Lordship of Dragonstone. The Kingdom of Dragonstone. How do I create this? Number of titles of tier, of tier Lord... Oh, of Tier Lord is greater or equal to two. So we need... I need another title. If we can get another title, we can create the Kingdom of Dragonstone, I believe. Which is this cool little uh, white dragon thing. I think we might do that. Just create the Kingdom of Dragonstone and just fucking take over everything. You know, join in the fun of the the bleeding years. You know. I mean, what else are we gonna What else are we gonna do? Dragonmont. We got Dragonmont, right? Yes. All right. We have a new Maester. And uh, we don't really need to make any allies. I don't think we do because we got dragons. So why do we need allies? Um, I guess do statecraft. You got. You know, gotta have my son doing something, I guess. Hmm. Alright, so if I begin dragon conquesting things... I don't know what will happen, but we're gonna find out. Dragon conquest. He'll be given a chance to surrender, we become his new liege. Now, it's not gonna give us a title, though. That's what kind of sucks. Um... But these people all seem to be independent, so we're going to expand our realm. Let's see. Defending against in Stormland. The Stormlands are... Ooh. The Stormlands are invading Cracklaw Baron. Not good. Not good. Uh, declare war. We'll conquest you. North Cracklaw will conquest you. And we'll take... Ooh, you already belong to us, right? Yes, you do. So we're fighting three little wars right now. Nothing really, nothing too crazy. Get the ships out to here. But eventually we're going to run out of land. And we're going to need to... Start, uh, you know, waging some bigger wars. I'm thinking about hitting the Vale first. Because there is like a wall that belongs to the Stormlands. That's kind of in the way of our expansion. Kind of in the way. All right, so we're in command, right? Sweet. You get a haircut. Get, get, cut this hair off. Let's see. Um, I think if I go backwards, it's gonna glitch out again. So, just keep going forward. We'll go, we'll go with the Tywin look, the the good old Tywin look. All right, and I'm gonna lead this. No, I'm gonna lead this army. Let me lead these armies, because if I die, it's not that big of a deal. Uh-oh. That's not good. Disband! Go home! Alright. Let's move this up here a little bit. And then we're gonna land right here. We got a little glimpse of our enemies there. Oh, okay. My lord, we received word from Crack, Crack Club Baron. Lord Bellman has led a code coalition to defend to defend the claw people the people of the claw is what they're known as they're claw people all right now we're now we're gonna wreck them because i think we all got dragons does agor have a dragon no he doesn't why are so many of my fucking commanders not jumping into this they're not jumping into the wars here danies i know you're not a great martial person but uh we need you we need you and your dragon. Yeah, you know, they're gonna... They're gonna... T Let's build up our morale first. I mean, dragons are good, but they're not invincible. So we need to make sure our morale's up to about 100, and then we're gonna launch the assault. This should be a quick little uh, easy victory for us, assuming that our dragons don't get killed. Boom! Dragons! Oh, yes. Ride them down. Did they ever stand a chance? Who knows? 
5,000 men. Jesus Christ. Hmm. Well, you know what? My studies in, oh, my studies and training have taught me different things. I generally lead the center, so I guess we'll do the center. Direct leader. Then once we own this, um, we'll attack the veil. We'll attack the veil. That's what we'll do. And we'll get a nice little foothold, and the veil is easy to, you know, easy to protect or something. Maybe, or maybe we should wait. Our treasury is shit. Hmm. A previously obscure noble has distinguished himself during the Battle of Dire Den. Perhaps I can make use of him. Alan of Spicetown. A kind, brilliant commander. And he's stubborn. Oh, he is pretty damn good. Of Spicetown. Perhaps I can use him. Uh, sure. But, um... I'm not gonna give him any money. We don't have any money. In order to, like, raise him to nobility, you need to actually pay for his armor and shit and... No good. It's no good. Yes! Burn them! Excellent. We could probably burn down their keeps, but I kinda... Ooh. Uh, they say the dragons live once more, and then Lady Rayla now rides Balerion. Yeah, my wife now rides a dragon that's one, years old. one year old. Alright. Ooh, great accomplishment. I don't really want to melt the castles here, because I want to be able to use their infrastructure later on. Um, and it would be best if we didn't burn everything. Uh, it's too late. We've already burned everything. At age 40, your acquaintance Gendry Crab was killed by Danny's, Danny's Targaryen. I see. <laughs> was he really an acquaintance? acquaintance? I don't know. This guy's burned, and he's depressed. Loser. You face the dragons. Whoa, 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 whoa. The Stormlands. Defending against Lord Selwyn II in the war against the tyranny of Storm King Baldric III. This is our chance. Ooh, how many troops do they actually com command? 17,000. That's way better than 45,000. And these guys command... Sweet. So the Stormlands is broken up into Rebellion, which we can take advantage of. Deploy the dragon. Um, you know what? It's only temporary. Melt them. Let's see. Let's send them to my dungeons. Let's just take them all into house arrest, and we'll probably ransom them later. Yeah. Ransom all prisoners. Rebuild the treasury. There we go. And then we can offer you peace, and you'll surrender. Sweet. Now let's cr crush the remnants of these uh, cl these crab rebels. I'll have to wait for the opportunity. Ooh, nice. Get this out of here. I'm tired of seeing that. Uh, take them all into house arrest. Same thing. Ransom them all. I said ransom, you sons of... Let's see. Why can't does not have the character ransom timer expires 7886 Let's see. Do, 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 do. There we go. Now we'll do it. No. All right. So they paid us. Offer peace. We win. Of course, they did burn their lands, but um you know, they're already burning, so byproduct of using dragons and all that. What is this? Nah, we won't do anything for right now. We're fine. Alright, now can we... Uh, let's see, deploy a drag... Ooh, ooh alright. Didn't capture anybody there, but... Uh, I keep forgetting that uh, the, the actually the AI and other... Uh, well, they're not really NPCs, but the other AI in the game, they if they have dragons, they can and will use them, even if they're a part of your armies. So that's how this all got burned and everything without uh, me realizing it. And that's, that's that. Excellent. So just like that, we've expanded. We've expanded fairly well, I think. A husband and wife musician couple has arrived from Lease. Their performances range from vulgar satires to political servant, serventies? I don't know how to say that. And everything in between, including songs and po poems of courtly love. They will be well paid. And we will be charitable. 
The dragon, the dragon Valerion is a, a ravenous beast. Offer them gold. You want me to give you gold? No, 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 not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. Go ahead and disband this, sh these fleets here. Now that that's all done, we probably can actually declare more war. Could we conquer you? No, no we can't. How about you? Could we declare war on you? We could do a dragon conquest of the Stormlands. Uh, it would only t it would only take this stuff, really. Um, hmm, that's it's that's interesting. But you control all of this. That's quite silly. That's quite silly. We could. We don't really need alliances. No, we don't really need alliances. The kingdom of Dragonstone must grow. What we could do is we could actually attack some of these minor lords. Uh, apparently, we can't dragon conquest them. Hmm. Unfortunate. There will be a new conquest. I think we should take this guy out. I know he's got 14,000 men, and if the rebellion ends, then uh, in favor of Lord Selwyn II of Tarth. I say we conquer them. How many troops do we have? 2,000, 3,000? Is that wise? I'm not sure. I am not sure, but you know what? We could easily land in Storm's End, and we could melt him and instantly win. So I think that'd be a good idea. Declare war, dragon conquest, now. Wahaha. The kingdom of Dragonstone comes for you, sir. All right, how this raise all of our... All of our soldiers again. We need everybody on the ships. Everybody. Come on now. All right, got some pirates going up that way. And we just combine these ships here. And we'll see if this works. It might not work. It could be ca it could be catastrophic. Um could be terrible, but I'm not that concerned about it. Then we got Danny's the Dreamer and let's get Aegon over here. Sweet. And we'll see if the small fledgling kingdom of Dragonstone can expand and destroy the titan that is the Stormlands. It is a little opportunistic, I will admit, but, well, it's how you win wars. Okay, so you want to stay away from this army. <laughs> stay away from that army there. Um, can we land here and not get killed? Okay, here we are. Now then, deploy the dragon. Let's see, they will take 40% losses. Very nice. Rumors of a traitor working in Storm's End. My lord, since I've read Dragonstone, that's great. Where is my Spymaster? Spymaster. Um, Storm Singer, somebody, um, I'd like you to give us a little bit more sight on our surroundings. Yeah, see, that's what I'm kind of concerned about, this fucking doom stack right here. If they did attack us here, even with a defensive bonus, wouldn't really matter. They would still destroy us. So we need to... Oh, beautiful. Storm's End has fallen. So while the Stormlands... Yo, they're a big, giant kingdom. Uh, they broke out in Civil War. Led by... Who are they led by? Who is it led by? It's led by Tarth. Tarth led a revolt. Selwyn II of Tarth. With, which... I can't see it because I got my damn drink in the way, but it, it seems like almost all the lords of the Stormlands have rebelled against their king. Is their king tyrannical? I don't think so. He is a formidable fighter, though. Awesome. Very, very cool. But he is cruel and ruthless, so maybe that might not be appreciated from his vassals. But amidst their civil war, an army... An, an, an army never seen before, carrying banners that have only been seen off the coast of, you know, here and there, land in Storm's End. And amongst this army are great flying beasts. And they unleash their fire, and they melt Storm's End. We have taken Storm's End, but Storm King Durandin is not there. Unfortunate. Deploy the dragon. Burn them all. 
Oh, that's lame. While it's doing battle in storms and Azantes has been unfortunately wounded, despite this, you'll be able to continue fighting. Yeah, but I mean, when you're wounded, it makes the chances of you getting maimed go up, and that's no good. We might have to bounce out of here, though, eventually, because when the real armies of the Storm King show up... Oh, come on. Azanti's wound is finally healed, returning him to full fighting strength. Oh, great. Oh, <laughs> okay. All right, so this could be this could be disastrous. It could be disastrous, or it could be really, really awesome. Is we've got an army of two thousand coming in. We can take them easily, and we have the high ground because of the hills. However, once we get into combat, this army here of Storm King Baldric, all eleven thousand of them are going to descend on us. They're going to retake Storm's Storm's End. They're not going to let us just walk away with it. We might. We might, might, might be able to do a kind of, uh, a, uh, 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 what is it, um, field of fires type thing. Field of fire. Um, it doesn't work all the time. It depends on what the terrain is like. For example, you can't do the field of fire in a desert. It won't let you do that. Um, but if we can do it, it would, it would destroy them. I do think maybe we should be a little bit smarter, though. We could probably be a little bit smarter. Just, we either hold our ground here, use the hill advantage, and have 2,000 men, and when their main host descends upon us, we, uh, you know, unleash all our dragons, because we got three of them. Yes. And hopefully it wipes them all out. Or we just get back in the ships, and then we just kind of hop around, melting castles and stuff, and uh, making... Well, life hell for, uh, the Stormlands. Hmm. If we stay and hold our ground, it'll be a glorious victory. It could be. It could be a glorious victory, or it might not. <clears throat> oh, yeah. They're all coming. They're all coming now. I don't know. I don't know if I want to stay here. <laughs> I don't know if I want to stay. Um... Well, you know what? It's early. It's early in the series. It is just the first episode, so I think you know what we can risk. We can risk Anar being killed in combat. It all depends on if we can't deploy our dragons during the battle. If we can't deploy our dragons, it won't make a difference. When will battle start? On the fourteenth of July. Ah, we've taken Storm's Drum, Stag's Den. All right, here they come, and they've got allies. If we get in the boats, what time would we get there on the 16th of July? Nope, war. Nope, the they'll be here. It's too late. If they get on top of us, too. This could be very bad. Well, let's see if we can melt their armies. There we go. Now, deploy the dragon in battle. Ride your dragon into the battle and turn the land into a field of fire. Deploying your dragon will annihilate the enemy host. However, it comes with a price. You put your dragon at risk. The land is burned, and the people dislike you for what you did to their lands. We've already burned their land, so we don't really have to worry about it. We will take to the skies. The field of fire. The enemy are beyond counting. Their ranks reach beyond the horizon. Armor shining in the midday sun. Your dragon roars in eager anticipation. You cannot help savoring your victory. Let's see. 10% of the troops are killed. 35% morale. It's not 100%, so Azantes is 100 years old, but he does he still doesn't do the amount of damage that Balerion the Black Dread would do when he's, like, close to 300 years old. Dracarys. Storm King Baldric Durant in the Stormlands tried to slay your dragon and failed. He was beaten back by the flames. Excellent. And look at that. Holy shit. <laughs> apologies, apologies. <laughs> Damn. That's almost half their troops. They had 11... Alright, it was almost half. Almost half of their soldiers have, have been melted. And all of them are retreating. They have all broken. And the Storm King has been burned. <laughs> wow. Now here's the problem. If this army of 13,000 come in on top of us and we can't deploy our dragon because it might it might be on a timer. I'm not really sure. It might be on a timer, 
But regardless, we have shown the Storm King that his legions matter not, that our dragons will take the day, and if the gods are good, we will be the new kings in uh, uh, of the Stormlands. Yes, that's what I meant to say. Thank you all for watching the episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, this has been Crusader Kings 2, the Century of Blood. I have been the Golden Joe Oblivion, and until next time, I will see you all later.